Hey everyone, uh, today we are going to solve the lead code question, remove linked list elements. So you are given head of linked list and the integer bar. Remove all the nodes of the linked list that has node bar equal uh, bar and return the new head. So let's see the example. So you are given 1, 2, 6, 3, 4, 5, 6 and the bar is 6. So we have to uh, remove the value 6 from uh, input um, linked list. So in this case, we have to remove this 6 and uh, connect from 2 to 3. And then uh, we have uh, one more 6, so remove this 6 and uh, uh, connect to null from 5, so like, like this and then uh, null. Yeah, um, very simple question, so let me explain how to solve this question. Before I start my explanation, so let me introduce my channel. So I create a lot of videos to prepare for technical interviews. I explain all the details of all questions in the video, and you can get the code from GitHub for free. So please subscribe my channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. Thank you for your support. Okay, so let me explain with this example, 1, 2, 6, 3, 4, 5, 6. And uh, we have to remove 6. So to solve this question, um, I create uh, like an answer node and uh, pointing the uh, head, which is one. And uh, also, uh, I create a um, dummy node and uh, I copy an answer node to dummy node. So dummy node also pointing head. So the reason why we use the, like a uh, answer node and a dummy node is that so. Basically, we iterate through all nodes one by one with dummy node. So now head, head is here. So if um, we don't create an answer node and a dummy node and then use head uh, like to iterate through the like a node one by one. So in the end, we have to uh, return the like an entire new linked list. So if head is, let's say, in the end here, uh, how can we return the like, an entire um, linked list, right? So that's why um, we have to stay uh, at the very beginning. So that's why we need to an answer a node. So also um, um, dummy for, for dummy node. So the reason why we use dummy node is that, so what if uh, first node is six and the head is now here? So in that case, we have to remove um, uh, this node, but uh, we are now head node, so it's gonna be tough to delete the current node. So that's why uh, we need uh, like a um, before head node. So that's why uh, we create a dummy node and pointing the head so that we can delete uh, first node if first node is six. So yeah, uh, let's uh, iterate through the node and uh, check the um, next node. So next node is one. So we have to delete six. So they are not same. In the case, uh, dummy node move next here. And again, uh, check the next value two and the uh, value is six so they are not same so just move dummy node to next and then uh, next next value is six and the value is six so they are same in that case current node dot next should be um, current node dot next next so we connect like this so so that we can delete this node Right, and then move next. So move next means uh, this dummy node move like next next, and then uh, check the next value. So node is four. So in that case, just uh, move next, and then uh, check the next node five. So dummy node move next, and then uh, check next node. So next node is six. So we have to delete this node so so last node is pointing null right usually so 
all we have to do is uh, uh, do the same thing, uh, this, this. So dummy.next should be dummy.next next so that we can point in no. And then uh, move next. So now dummy node is no. So we finish iteration. So now we can create like one, two, three, four, five, and no. Yeah, after that, um, as I explained earlier, uh, answer node still pointing head. So that's why in this case, uh, a dot oops, next is uh, like a, um, a dot next means uh, like a return entire new linked list, like a one, two, three, four, five, and null. Yeah, so that is the basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, create an answer node. So list node, and uh, you can put uh, any value. So I put zero, and the next node should be head. And uh, I copy answer node to dummy node. Answer. And uh, let's uh, iterating the node, a linked list. So why? So dummy. And uh, if dummy is not new, while dummy and dot next. So dummy has a next value and uh, dummy dot next value equal um, bar. So in that case, um, update dummy dot next equal dummy dot next and the next. And then after that, um, we move forward to the next uh, node. So dummy equal dummy dot next. After that, just return answer dot next. Yeah, so that's it. Let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n. So where n is a number of nodes in the linked list. So this is because uh, this code iterates through the linked list once with a single while loop. The inner while loop only runs when the value of next node match the given value. And uh, in the worst case, it may iterate through all the nodes in the linked list. So that's why uh, order of n. So space complexity is uh, actually O1. So this code uses a constant amount of extra space. So the only uh, extra space used is uh, for the two pointers, like an answer and a dummy, which are used to manipulate the linked list. And uh, they do not depend on the size of the input linked list. The original linked list is modified in place, and uh, no additional data structures are used, so resulting in constant space complexity. So that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.